this demo, I'll walk you through how to build an AI agent workflow using Crew AI and Streamlit. We'll create a visual interface that lets you design, configure, and run multiple agents, each with their own tools and goals, and chain their outputs together to complete complex tasks. Let's start by creating a new project in PyCharm. So here I am in PyCharm, I'm gonna create a new project. I'll name it Agent Workflow Builder. I'll use my default PyCharm settings and create a virtual Python environment using Python version 3.12. Click Create. There's my project. First thing I'm gonna do in this project is pip install all the Python libraries that I'm gonna need for the project. I'm gonna do that directly from the terminal. I'll go here, select Terminal. Now I can run the pip install for all those libraries. I'll run this, let those download and install. There we go. I'll go ahead, let me select the project directory here. I'll go to File, New, and then File. I'll create requirements.txt, and I'm gonna store a list of all the libraries that are required for this application. I'll paste the list here. This file could be useful if and when I ever wanna deploy this application to a particular service like Streamlit Cloud or Heroku. Now I'll create another file. Go to new file. This file is going to be named .env, so it'll be a hidden file. I'm going to store my API keys here in this file, and I'll read these API keys in this file from my code in my Python file, which I haven't created yet. First one is the OpenAI API key. I've already created it, so I'll paste it here. This OpenAI API key is going to be used for interacting with OpenAI's LLMs. Let me show you where I created this API key. Here I'm logged into my OpenAI account. I'll go to the dashboard here. And then I'll click API keys. And you can see I already created the API key here. Now I'll go back to my ENV file in PyCharm. I'm gonna add a Serper API key. This is used to interact with Google's search API. It's basically a way to programmatically search Google from within my application. I can show you where I created this API key. Here I am logged into my Serper account. I'm gonna to go to API key, and you can see I already created the API key here. Now I'm back in PyCharm. I'm gonna go ahead and start creating my application. I'm gonna new Python file. I'm gonna name my application Streamlit app. That creates a Python file in my project. I'm gonna copy the first bit of code in here. We'll start by importing the core libraries we need. OS, Streamlit, and .env help us manage environment variables and build the UI. Then we bring in agent, task, and crew from Crew AI. These are the building blocks for defining and running our multi-agent workflow. Next, we import the tools our agents will use. This includes the code interpreter tool for executing Python code and the Serper dev tool which lets agents search the web. We also import base tool from Crew AI to define our own custom tools and base model and field from Pydantic for structured input validation. Finally, we'll bring in the OpenAI library so our summarizer tool can use GPT to generate summaries. Next, we load our environment variables using load.env. This pulls in our API keys from the .env file. First, I'm loading the OpenAI API key from the .env file here. And then I'm loading the Serper API key from the file here. Then we add a simple check. If either key is missing, we show an error message in the Streamlit UI. And then we stop the app from running. The ST variable represents the alias for the Streamlit library that we imported at the top of the file. We're gonna create one instance of the Serper dev tool here. You can see it's using the Serper API key. Then we're gonna create one instance of the code interpreter tool. Next, we're gonna define a custom summarization tool that uses OpenAI's GPT. First, we create a Pydantic class called Summarize Tool Input. This tells Crew AI what kind of input the tool expects. In this case, a string under the key description. And then we define the actual Summarize tool which inherits from base tool. We give it a name and description, set its input schema to use the class we just defined. 
And then the underscore run method is where the magic happens. It sends the input text to OpenAI's chat completions API. We set the model here to GPT 3.5 Turbo. For the messages, we set the role, and the content is the input description itself. That was the input to the run function. We also set the temperature, max tokens. And then we return a summarized version of the content, which is the given description. Now I'll create a single instance of that summarized tool. So I have three tools I've initialized. I'm gonna keep track of those in a dictionary. Here in the dictionary, you can see the keys with the associated values, which are the initialized tools. This next section sets up the basic layout and branding for our Streamlit app. Again, ST is the alias I set when I imported Streamlit. We define the page title and layout. Then we add a title and a short description explaining that this app lets users build and launch AI agents using Crew AI. Here we add a text input box. This lets the user define the overall task they want the agents to work on, like researching a topic or generating a summary. We also include a default value, which gives an example task. Here we create a streamlit slider, allowing the users to specify the number of agents that they'd like to use for the task. Minimum value is two, maximum value is five. Default value is three. And here we just add a subheader telling the user to configure each agent. We'll create an empty list where we're gonna store the configuration of each agent that the user specifies. This entire block creates a dynamic UI that lets the user configure each agent. For every agent selected with the slider, we open an expandable section. Inside, the user can define the agent's role, set a specific goal, and choose which tools that agent will use. This part creates a multi-select dropdown in the UI, allowing the user to choose one or more tools for each agent. The options come from the tool map, which we defined above. This includes the search code and summarization tools. By default, search is pre-selected. Each agent's configuration is stored in a list, so we can use it later to create the actual crew AI agents. This creates a button to trigger the logic to build and run each AI agent one at a time. This creates an empty list that we're gonna to use to store the actual agents once we create them. In this step, we loop through the agent configurations from the UI. We map the selected tool names to actual tool instances using the tool map, then assign each agent a role, goal, tool set, and a backstory. Each agent is added to the list so they can be used in the task execution step. Here's the next section. Let me dedent this. In this step, we loop through each agent and run them one at a time. We start with the overall task description as the initial input. For each agent, we create a new task using the current input and assign it to that agent. Here we set the expected output for each task. Then we build a crew with just that agent and task so they can run independently. This sets us up to pass the output from one agent to the next, creating a sequential workflow. Here we show a status message while the agent is working. We call crew.kickoff to run the agent and get the output from their task. And then that output is stored in a list along with the agent's role. And then we store the output of the crew as the current input to pass it to the next task in the next agent. Here in the final step, after all agents have finished, we show a success message and display the final output from the last agent. We also include an expandable section that shows the step-by-step -step outputs from each agent so the user can see how the task evolved at each stage. Now I wanna run the Streamlit app. I'm gonna go back to my terminal. I'm gonna run Streamlit run streamlitapp.py. That's the name of my file. This launches a local Streamlit server and opens my app in my default browser. There it is. So here's my AI agent workflow builder. The idea is to be able to build and launch a custom crew of AI agents. Each agent can have different roles, goals, and tools, including web search, Python execution, and summarization. So here's where I can set the overall task for the agents to work on. Here's where I specify the number of agents. The default is three. And then if I scroll down, I can configure each of those agents. For example, here, agent one, I can specify the role and the goal. I can also specify the tools for Agent 1. By default, it's search. Agent 2, the role, the goal. 
and then the tools for agent two, so on and so forth. So let's go through a full example. I'll change this. I only need two agents. Let me change the task for the agent. I'm going to change this to research the origin of funk music and summarize the information. This is the overall task for the two agents. So I'll have one agent do the research and one agent do the summarization. I'll change the role of agent one to researcher. And what's their goal? To assist with the research of the origin of funk music. That's it. I'll keep that agent's tool as search. I'll change the role of agent two to summarizer. And what's their goal? To assist with summarizing the research gathered in or gathered by agent one. So I'm going to change the tool for this agent. It's not going to be search. It's going to be summarize. That was our custom tool. I'll launch the crew sequentially. You could see agent one, the researcher, doing the research. And then agent two, the summarizer, doing its summarization. And here's the final output from the last agent. And there's the raw summary of the origin of funk music. Here I can see the full agent outputs. We could start with the output from the first agent, the researcher agent. There's the research. Here I can see the input to the first agent. That was just the task. And then I can see the output from the first agent. Then here's the second agent, the summarizer. I can see the output of that agent, the summary. I can see the input to the second agent right here is the research from the research agent. Now, since the summary of the research isn't that much shorter than the actual research, I want to change the goal of the summarizer. Let's specify, assist with summarizing the research gathered by agent one in two sentences. Then I'll relaunch my crew sequentially. Agent one doing the research. Agent two doing the summarization. Final output from the last agent. And there's the summary. Looks like two sentences. Great. Let's try another example. I'll just refresh this page, start over. Let me specify the task for the agents. I'm going to analyze a list of quarterly revenue figures and summarize the business trend. I'm going to need three agents for that. Now we'll configure each agent. First agent's going to be the data formatter. And what's the goal? To extract and format the given data into a Python list or a dictionary. Here's some sample data, just four quarters of revenue figures. In terms of the tools for this agent, could use search or summarize. I'll use summarize. It's going to hand off the results to the second agent, which will be the data analyst. The goal for this agent will be to run calculations on the data. For example, average, growth rate, trend. And the tool is going to be code. It'll run actual Python code to do the calculations. And then it's going to hand the results over to the third agent. And that's going to be the insight summarizer. And the goal will be to translate the result into a clear business insight. Change the tool. That's definitely going to be summarize. Launch the crew sequentially. See the data formatter working. Then the data analyst working. 
and then the insight summarizer working. Final output from the last agent. Here's the summary with clear business insight. Let's minimize this, look at the full agent outputs so we can understand this better. There's the first agent data formatter, took the revenue figures, put them into a list. And you can see the input to the second agent, the data analyst, was the list of figures. And then the input to the third agent were the calculations from the second agent. And then it took care of summarizing and translating those into clear business insights. If you wanted to deploy your app, you can click deploy. There are three options here. Streamlit has its own community cloud, or you could deploy to Snowflake or some other platform.